Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, Karibu Sana, my name is Doris and today I'm making Kaimati for the first time and for my recipe, I need one and a half cup of wheat flour, a quarter cup of water, six tablespoons of plain yogurt, two teaspoons of instant dry yeast and finally one tablespoon of oil. Here is my humble recipe. <laughs> First, I mix the yeast to the flour. I like going in with my hand so that I can feel what's going on with my dough. Next, add in my oil and again, go in my, with my hands looking for that breadcrumb consistency. Next, I'll add in my yogurt, my whole six tablespoons in and mix this in using a spoon. Once that is in, I add in my water. I used room temperature water to do this. Now the next step, I totally regret. Uh, the mixture is sticky and gooey. <laughs> I'll definitely use a wooden spoon next time I try this. But for now, I'll add in a little bit of flour to help me need to careful not to mess up with the recipe. Once it's manageable, I wrap it in a clean film, cover with a kitchen towel and leave it for an hour. To make the syrup, I have here one cup of sugar, put this in a sulfuria, add in a half a cup of water and my three cardamom pods, put this on the stove and bring to a boil. I stir this to make sure all the sugar dissolves and once all that is done, I'll just turn off the heat and let it cool completely. A little bit of an hour later, this is how the dough looks. It's still sticky and this is how the syrup looks. It's more viscous. I'll set this aside ready for the frying process. Into my pan goes my oil to heat up and in a separate bowl I set up a little oil to oil the spoon this way the dough will not stick to my spoon and this is my very first scoop and I put this into the hot oil. That took no time at all, they are already becoming brown and I feel like that is a bit too fast. So I'll just uh, reduce the heat a little so that it's a bit manageable. I'll still try and salvage my pan by adding a few more scoops but this one's already ready. So I think it's safe to just scoop these ones out for now and place them straight into the syrup uh, to coat them while I'm keeping an eye on the other ones. Hopefully the oil will have regulated so it won't be that hot when I'm going for the next batches. Yes, this does require total concentration and yeah. After coating with the syrup, here are my very first kaimatis. I'll set them aside and I hope they really do taste as good as they look and smell. So we'll just have to wait and see. I start my next batch and as I said, I will need total concentration to get this ones done. And yeah, I got a full pan, yay! <laughs> yes, I actually did ma manage to get a full pan. So let's fry this ones uh, like a professional. <laughs>
Well, I suppose it gets easier when you keep on doing it. They smell really great and more importantly, they taste awesome. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment and subscribe. And until next time, be zoo. Bye.